What is up my YouTube community? It's your boy Dapo Ibrahim TV and once again welcome to my channel. Today we'll be doing something pretty basic which is the connecting of one device to the next device so we can obtain those cinematic shots that we've always be, been aiming for or those ones that we love seeing on TV. So the device that I'll be connecting is the Zion Crane S3. This bad boy right here. Take a look at it. Yep. And I'll be connecting this bad boy to a DSLR camera. Specifically, I have my Canon 5D Mark IV DSLR camera um, right here. So I'll be, I'll be connecting these two devices together um, and I'll be showing us some pretty basic camera crane, you know, camera gimbal movements. Um, you know, the panning, the tilting, the zooming in and stuff like that, um, that we can aim for using these devices together. Um, pretty much. Um, like I said, we'll be focusing on the basics of this. Uh, if you are not connected or if you are not subscribed to this channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell button. That way, whenever I put out a video out there, you get the instant notification. Also, connect with me on other social media outlets, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn. I'm all over the place. My name is Dapo Ibrahim TV. And yes, let's get right into today's video. All right, welcome back once again. I'm just going to keep this on the side for now. It's a DSLR camera and we'll focus on the gimbal. We'll focus on unboxing this gimbal. Like I said, uh, we'll be opening this up. This is, and I just want to um, just put out there that this video is not in any way sponsored by Zion, um, Zion or Canon in any way. This is purely an educational video from my YouTube um, a purely educational video for my YouTube um, community because we all out here um, aiming to become better at our videos, um, you know, making, creating content and being creative with our various, you know, media equipment. So this is purely an educational video. It's not a sponsored video. So yeah, let's get right into it. Um, so this is the seal. I'm going to break this seal. And I have this right here. This is my multi tool. It's very handy. Always have this, especially if you're working on set. This is one of the most handy um, equipment you could have as someone who's working on set. So I'm going to open this up with this. Oh, look at that. Open up. Boom. And um, right here. We'll see what this is and um, just gonna open this up and it comes with this grayish box very handy and it comes with um, I believe this is the Zion tree manual or maybe package whatever that is I put this on the side oh shit Put this on the side, and then now we're left with this beautiful box out here, right here. I'm gonna leave it this way. So we're back, and I'm going to open this so we see exactly what's inside it. And that's the crane right there. Um, it's pretty much like it's been assembled already, so. We can take this out. This right here. Yeah. See that? And then this. Yeah, this goes right in the base. This goes right in the base. Um, this right here. I'm gonna put this in there. Have this. Have this. Put 
this. And then this is the battery. Yeah, that's the battery charger. Um, right here. And this, and this goes in there. And this right here. Yeah, whatever this is. So everything just fits right perfectly into this stuff. Like, fits right perfectly. And this is the plate. And there goes the batteries. Oh, by the way, I got this from Adorama. Um, I put a link to it below. So, that's the box. Doesn't feel like a box box like that. It's like a simple white basic stuff, you know. That you just pretty much um you know that put, you put your television and stuff into. Um this is my camera with the camera plate. I'm gonna open this up. I'm glad it has this though. Um I'm gonna put this in. Right here. Just gonna lock it down with this. That's a measuring tool right there. I'm gonna lock it down and um, start putting this together. So I pretty much have this camera. I have the mounting plates attached to it um, if you take a look at this you'll see I have um, this is the um, follow focus the lens support for the follow focus so I have this there but um, the only reason why this is not touching the lens is because I have the um, external battery attach um, attacher on the camera so it's kind of a bit taller but this is how I want it because I'm not going to be using the follow focus I'm just putting this on the gimbal just for you to see how it stands um, how it fits on the gimbal so for now we're not focusing on follow focus so I just want you to see this um, the gimbal is all set and I will be attaching this I'll be attaching the camera and just put this down um, yeah and I'll be attaching the camera on the gimbal so right now open the gimbal this is the gimbal and um, just make sure everything is unlocked see this is unlocked unlocked and this one unlocked the reason why I want this unlocked is so I can attach the camera onto it you understand so if I have it this way lock it up so it stays just like that all right so we have this in and um, gonna lock this up right now oh no unlock I'm gonna slide this on. See that? We're usually supposed to hear the clicking sound. Let me just check this out to make sure everything is good. Okay, it's good. 
and um, just gonna click this on top of it. So now we have this. So I'm gonna lock it up this way. This is the battery. Slide this to open it. This one right here. Open it. You have three batteries, so you wanna make sure the red tape is always underneath the very first one. And just follow the rules of the back the battery placement. This way. Goes there. Um, this red tape will help you, you know, in just pulling the batteries out. And then the third one goes up. And now we're good to go. So all this this section is for like an external, you know, if you want to attach like a monitor, a sound device or whatever. But right now we're not doing all those things. That will be in like a follow-up video. So right now, this is where we at. This is all locked up. Um, the gimbal is good, ready to go. Um, the battery set, so we'll power it right here. This is where you power it. Hold it down for like 30 seconds. Make sure everything is good. Okay. All right, so you want to always make sure your motors are turned on whenever you power, it's not locked, whenever you're about to power the gimbal. That's it. That's the video. We have the Canon 5D Mark IV sitting right there on the Zion Crane 3S gimbal. And that's the main objective of today's video to make sure we can sit this. Um, we got the balance so the camera can be whatever in whatever position that you want it to be. Um, 
adjusting the different things you know so the, the the camera is ready to use and the gimbal is also ready to use the next thing is to take this out there on the field and shoot you know try out different shot styles you know pan and tilting zooming you know follow pov and you know the vector shoots so um yeah we'll take it out there and play around with it so that will be in a different video that'll be follow video to this one um so far if you like this video don't forget to like and comment below um if uh, if you're watching this video right now subscribe hit the subscribe button um stay connected hit the bell button that way you always get notification whenever i have a new video out there until next time my name is dapo ibrahim love and respect people